So, okay, so now here we are for the Wii version of Sonic Gunleash with a slight bit of technical difficulties getting in here, but, but hey, we, now we're here. Here, so, if you look at my main file here, as you can see, I got all metal, the last moon metal there, which I wasn't there before, so I'm gonna go in there. You know, I mean, you know, what a difference this was here. You know, well, that shift went in, that piece is actually back in place. And it's now, first thing I just want to show is the one stage I did not get the show because I didn't have it unlocked. Because I had to unlock all, oops, all gets a concept art in order to actually access the stage. But now we can. But, to, but now that that time has came, I've gotten all of them, which was a year ago, or a little bit more than that, I should say. I was able to get the rest of, uh, get actually unlock the stage and get the last moon medal I needed. And so it's students to you so about getting hit. And so uh, not gonna be boosting too much here because. Quite a lot of spots where we can easily fall off and plus can't take damage, but otherwise that's it. <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah, that's it, we're fail. not doing any more. But no, I'm just kidding. Hang on. Hang we're going back in there with. I did that for a reason because <laughs> because of the fact that, well, this just seems to my disc for this seems to be a little scratched, so oh I unfortunately am and kind of I'm trying to work my way around that, but that by just doing it like that and so I'm just hitting the reach right because that's how I made the thing pop up. Um, with, yeah, that sucks. I'm gonna have to get a new copy of this, but eh, oh well, well. Checked them on eBay and they're not that expensive. Although I did see some discs that actually have full colored artwork on them as a, rather than just having to be like a grayish purplish tint on it. And with I never I never knew that before honestly until I looked it up. Yeah, shocking. <laughs> not sure which is more which one of the two is rare, the one with the full I look at one with like the grayish Purplish tint, but I don't remember what color the tint is. Maybe it was a a, a darker blue, but I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even though I've had that disc for practically all my ever since I've gotten the, the game back in 2008 for Christmas of 2008 to be more accurate, for, uh, to, of a time spot where I got this and completely overshot the goal ring. Yeah, that's the last mission that I never got the chance to show off. Uh, but but now that I showed that off, I can just go into. I might as well show all the stuff here off again, because why the heck not? That's good. Yeah, really, the only other thing for the Wii version of Unleash that I would have left to do is get the remaining S rings, because. Some of these heroes you can, I did get, because I think some of these here are like the last few I did not get the S ranks on, but I got A ranks, but I just combined them, certain ranks together to get to the three medals, or did I already do that? I can't remember. Well, I guess I did do that, so I did truly get 100% into where I got, turned all those A ranks into S ranks. So there's really, Really, there isn't anything else left for me to who do who we get here. You know, so uh, I completely forgot about that. But now I'm just gonna show off all the art and stuff, concept art and stuff, stuff through here. You know, just because I can. Plus, you know, last time I did show when I did the Wii version in of Sonic Unleash, I did it all through a live through live streams. Not through nor normal videos. So, it's a chance to get the CDs in low, better quality, I guess. Is, uh, 
Oh, that's why I'm doing this, human. <laughs> yeah, and other than that, then that's pretty much the last thing I have left. Oh, left for Sonic Unleash you, and then we can finally be done with the game. And because, <laughs> yeah, I've been <laughs> been doing this all since like 2018, <laughs> when the game turned 10 years old, but. Yeah, here we, now here we are, four years later, and the game's 14 years old, or close to that. Because next year will be the game's, game's 15th anniversary. And, yeah, actually, we go back here. We never had this enemy here in the Xbox version. I know it's HD version, but, eh, I'm just used to calling it Xbox version, but, yeah. The Wii version sure has a few exclusive enemies in it that weren't in the in the Xbox version, but mm, yeah, yeah. So it's interesting, but like it also has the V colors of some enemies. It says well some exclusive concept art here. You know it end. Who knows? I think I'll do like a full on remaster for Sonic Unleash. We better include both versions of the game. Like both, uh, both the Wii, the Dimps version and Sonic Team version, because Sonic Team made the HD version with for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, while Dimps made the Wii version and and the PlayStation 2 version. So, uh, that's, that's what they really need to do, or if they would ever, yeah, if they were ever to remaster the so of like. Sonic Unleash Ultimate or something. <laughs> and which was a missed opportunity for Sonic Colors Ultimate to not include the DS version. But, you know, I could kind of, I don't know how they would have got managed to get away with that by making the, putting those on con, on a console, but maybe for the Switch version, but, hmm, but I don't know. You know, that's a, not sure how they could have done it with that. Yeah, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. right, so, just going for all this concept right here, as you can hear the sound coming from my Wii Remote. Mm -hmm. And, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure what else they would have done if they do actually do a uh, un Unleash Ultimate. Mm hmm. And here would would be interesting, but I mean, would probably add someone that in order to kill you in like maybe Metal Sonic, but eh, we don't need Metal Sonic in this game. This game, this game works just fine without him. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So we'll just we'll go all this stuff here would can definitely tell that some of this concert the uh. Uh, some of this concept art is kind of carried over from the other, into the other version here, but some of it's just kind of combined it, it into one, rather than just that, I don't want his character by himself here, because, yeah, if you just compare the two, the, the two you can kind of see some of them. <laughs> hmm. So, just slowly going through here with all this concept art. Right here. <laughs> hey, yeah, like that was that they was definitely we brought back over into the other version for the other version. Yeah, that's for that, and of course the music as well. <laughs> yeah, well, I will say I do kind of put the soundtrack here. We play the soundtrack here in this version more than in the, uh, than, and then the other version because it actually shows like the background of what the area takes place in, where it takes place in, because if I chose to select a, a, a song or so from, from in the Xbox version, it would just keep the menu wouldn't change. It would just play as it was, with, with where you could still navigate through the menu. Wait, wait, this is it's kind of an even trade off to where you can't do that in this version, but yeah. 
Hmm. So just phone calls. <laughs> Music you. Hmm. Cause uh, when I found all the con, you know, found all the, the remaining concept art and stuff for the the game here, or the Wii version, I mean, I just kind of looked it up because I looked and looked and couldn't quite find any spots for it. But you know, that's okay, I guess, because I worked hard to have this game for quite a long since it came out and. Managed to get pretty close to fully 100%ing. Okay, so. I'm going through all this here. <laughs> uh, yeah, but this way, at least I will make this into two video, this bonus video into two bonus videos rather than one, so I can cut out the little technical difficulties. He's. <laughs> See, so, you know, I have the Eggman entrance uh, and uh, song here, but you don't have any places where you actually, you don't have any world map you can go to for that. Uh, or like a menu for that, I should say. <laughs> and now for, I guess, cutscenes here, which, yeah. Yeah, the cutscenes just flay off. Oh, for as mm. no, I just yeah, the cutscenes here they all just look are down. Basically, what I found out that's it. Since I did the Wii version, is that the cutscenes here are actually early build of the uh, of what the final normal versions of these cutscenes were in the, the Xbox version. So that's why some of them look. That's why these look a little darker than they would before. And and look at this. This video here was. Unlocked. It wasn't like that before. So let's play it. It's interesting is that it plays the Japanese uh, Japanese dub on the uh, on this here, not the U.S. Let's go because that the Xbox version got it right, but for some reason not this version. I wonder why? Maybe we were originally planning on this, but. Um, but decided now nah, we are, you know, then to do, do dub it for US, yes, but then, but then forgot to change it for this. <laughs> Plus, you only get this one cutscene here, not the, not the other two from Holaska on out of that. But yeah, that's staying in these little documents here. Is the last thing left for me to real really show. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, so once this is a. Yeah, yeah, once I show all these off, then that's pretty much it for all Sonic Unleashed, basically. And then we can finally move on to Smud Drop Squirrel Pants Battle for Bikini Bottom, um, which I want to be that game of the game of that, my copy of that game for the original ga on GameCube was scratched up a bit, so I had to get a new copy of that. that. <laughs> So it's a sign to where I just need to start replace, getting new copies for some of my old Wii and GameCube games. Because like, a good chunk of them on my iPad since I was a kid. <laughs> but, but, yeah, so I'm going to have to repl get replacements for those. But for the Wii it's kind of okay because some of the prices on that aren't too high up. But for GameCube it's kind of a lot, going to be a little harder because... The prices for some of those GameCube games are insane. But you know, for some of them I are remastered on uh, uh, modern uh, consoles like uh, my, my GameCube copy of Mario Sunshine, have no other 3D All-Stars. My GameCube copy of Sonic Adventure, yeah, have that on Xbox. Same with, Ad with Adventure 2. <laughs> Who's uh... Oh, I d definitely have some games here that are remastered on modern consoles here as well. I'm not too, I'm not worried, which I want to be about, oh, about a year and a half ago, I had to replace my copy of Mario Party 8 because that disc was getting a little too scratch. Yeah, yeah I got, had to get a new copy off Amazon and, uh, 
was on for that one, and we got it alongside with Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Pretty so that was a great, good way for me to get those, get two at once, the things I wanted at once. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, of course I've taken good care of my discs here though, because I don't just spin these around in their places because they they don't vigorous so fast that just I just watch them spin like a record, maybe right round like a record, yeah. I don't know if I will accept song, but just that first part where, that one part where you spin me wide round, baby, wide round, round, like a record, right round, round, round. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess for the rest of this, we just have it, not sure what the rest of this we could have play on, but hmm, maybe it's the uh, credits here. Here, but yeah, so. So, yeah, so, um, again, I don't really, don't really have much else left to say, but finally finished up everything I first saw Unleashed, Leash, basically, and except for, like, the, the phone port of the game, which, which I never played, and, uh, and plus it's very different from the other, from the Wii and Xbox version, but, uh, so yeah, I have not seen much footage of it, but, yeah. Other than that, then, I'm pretty much done with Sonic Unleashed completely with gotten 100% on both versions. And so, no point for me to really go, to go back and do Let's Plays on these, but of course I'll go back to these games from time to time just to replay them. Because, um, you know, the Wii version has multiple save files, which will t do appreciate that this has version has it, unlike the Xbox version, which I have to use my, a different account to play that to, for, uh, as a substitution for that, and I think I saw a, so, uh, put some video somewhere were saying that Sonic Frontiers is going to have multiple save files again, because uh, if they do that, then that would be really, I really hope that's true, because save, multiple save files have been absent for Sonic since either Sonic 06 or Shadow the Hedgehog. Well, Shadow the Hedgehog, you could have more memory cards uh, as if you're on GameCube. That I know, I know that's for a fact. So, no. <laughs> so that's one thing you could. So that's one way. The uh, way I have um, multiple save files and that, but I'm not sure if it's like that for the PlayStation 2 or for or the original Xbox version of that. But yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure the Riders games have multiple save files, except for Free Riders. Uh, yeah, 06 didn't, the Xbox version of Unleash. Hey, the Storybook games did, and Co Colors did. Not all Ultimate, unfortunately. Yeah, because when someone did a review on. I know I'm just kind of rambling on here, but I just wanted to talk, say this now. Plus, this is giving me an opportunity to show the credits off without in better quality here on the Wii version. <laughs> and, but, yeah, anyway, so, yeah, Generations didn't have any, the Lost World didn't have any multiple save files, but, uh, oddly enough, <laughs> Sonic, all three Sonic Boom games, Rise of Lilac, Shadow Crystal, and Fire and Ice had multiple save files. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm, Sonic, but Mania kind of did, cause, where from the way of the uh, multiple si file because you know the main game did as well as ongoing mode but yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for the save files which hopefully they bring those if Frontiers does bring those back then that would be great because it's so much easier than just having to go through all the work making an offline account a different account just so you can play them um, because that's always really been my one complaint with several with Sonic game, games that lately that don't have multiple save files. Uh, that's my one complaint for them, but they don't take away my fun uh, enjoyment from the games. And so, no, at least give them credit. At least just say that. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, but um, hmm. yeah, I just don't. Yeah, I think I'm just kind of at a lost word, words here, so, uh, 
yeah, we when we finish up the game here and here and yeah. I'm not gonna let the rest of the credits play out or anything because yeah, we already seen these credits before. But we'll just let wait till the song ends and then we call it so that will be it. So I'll see you all next time for that SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. So I'll see you all next time.